beloved Ascension Pioneers, welcome Divine Companions. Today I had the privilege of climbing to a very steep, um, kind of like a mountain cliff shelf. And um, I just really feel guided because it's 12 to 12, a beautiful portable light today. To, to do a, an activation video. And yesterday, as I was sitting on one of the cliffs uh, where I live, this is very close to, I get this visual and I did the exercise, which was very intense. So remember the previous video I did on our um, cultivation of our inner soul bliss through the tantric energy that lies within all of us. So this video um, will be kind of like the activation with that, but that will come towards the end, you know, the circling rotations that I showed you. In the beginning, we will be activating a rainbow column of light, and um, this, this means to serve us, that we really, really gather all the divine potential that always surrounds us. As you know, there is no such thing as new energy, you know, things being new, new, new. We are creating the new because we're plugging into deeper parts of our cosmic galactic consciousness. So when we say new, it means that we're embodying more of that new, but that already is. So we're just shifting to, to higher states of our being on this planet. And this activation can really help us to, to see how we can capture all this divine rainbow potential. As you know, rainbow energy is all that creativity light of the cosmic forces of love that always surrounds us. So I'm going to give you a quick visual before we begin. And I really recommend um, that you also work with scent. So sound is very important, and I showed you um, what you can do with music. But also what's very important is, for me, it is to do this mostly as I can in nature. It's December now, it's pretty cold, but if, if you climb to a cliff like this, there's a lot of sun rays. So you're actually cultivating a lot of the sun energy, also sun gazing. You're directly exposed, so your third eye is open. And um, for me, it's important. And it was I sit down on the floor. I don't cheat. It's really sitting on the floor, even if it's cold. I have one of those pads, you know, when you just put under yourself. And um, it means that you can ground that. So any excess energy, it's important also to tell you that we always leave, uh, we always allow to leave through our feet because our feet also have chakras and anything that our body does not have to process at this time needs to leave through our feet. That's also important. That's a grounding um, experience that needs to be part of each activation. So opening and then, you know, just putting through our feet, whatever it's excess energy that we don't need or we can process at this time. And working with scent is also so important. And you can try these, um, I have a few essential oils. So what you do is um, you just put a bit about you know, um, under your nose, because scent also activates memories, it activates light codes, you know, we sometimes have a sense of smell, and a memory comes with it, so this way, <laughs> we open ourselves even more, so when we're going to be doing these activations, try to find, um, even crystals, you know, when you're working with them, when I come to such a place, I always find a stone, and this place has a lot of crystalline stones, I even found some great crystals here, and um, <laughs> you can go on a scavenger hunt if you have such beautiful locations yourself. It's very important that you work with the natural elements, to work with the earth, you know? And um, because what you're doing is you're receiving liquid light from source and you're putting in your body, you're, 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 you're just a receptacle, <laughs> receptacle. <laughs> That's kind of like my new word, you know, sometimes I like to invent new words. So you're receiving and you're susceptible to this energy and then you make it potent through your being. So you're gonna create different things, whatever will come to you. But it's very important that you first align yourselves with all this cosmical rainbow energy that's there. Create a white pillar of light and then utilize it and bring it through your body. Cultivate your soul bliss like we did in the previous video. You do the rotations that you bring it in your vortex so that your vortex, when you naturally start to spin like that, then you also start to rotate in your base chakra that you make it more and more physical so that it goes in all of your body and stimulates all of the areas and then leave the axis energy through your feet. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, I already showed you about the scent. It's um, like I said, for me, it's important that there's a lot of sunshine that I do this outside. So I'm mostly very, as you know, an outdoors kind of being. I try to do everything as I can outside unless it's really impossible, then I do it inside. But um, when you do this, it's not just for yourself, but it's for the cosmic potential of all the infinite creativity energy, which is love to be utilized, to be expressed, because that's what source is, infinite creativity. So, okay, let us start. I'm gonna try to make myself as comfortable as I can in these conditions. 
and um, let's just sit in our sacred space. We already put the scent that we really like to activate us. If not, then just feel all the scents of the nature that surrounds you. Maybe use some sprays in your sacred indoor space, whatever works for you. Now visualize the sun. We now have an actual physical sun here radiating on us. But if not, visualize a beautiful bright sun that shines with the light of the thousand suns, which is the infinite supply of love, creativity in all forms. Now what you do is, you see a beautiful golden cord of light that directly links you with this light of the source. You breathe it in deeply, and you see how it starts to fill up your entire being. And as it does so, you feel like your being begins to be lighter and lighter. And like the basic physical law, as you get lighter, you feel all that dense energy is pushing you up. And you feel like you start to levitate. And your arms, your hands begin to lift up and you raise them in the receiving pose. So you become this receptacle. You open your palms, and then once you see this golden light of this liquid source, starts to become, as it expresses itself in infinite ways of creativity, a beautiful rainbow spectrum of light. Tiny liquid particles now you see that they become this beautiful vortex of swirling energy, which now starts to wrap all around you. It starts to move through your body, encircling it with beautiful rotation movements, spinning and spinning in a beautiful liquid rainbow light. As you see this, you naturally begin to spin with the rhythm of this rainbow light. You see these beautiful sparkles, particles, which is all the same, it's all liquid light. But as source starts to move in creation, all of this beautiful light begins to offer itself for infinite ways of infinite creativity, which is love. So as you open yourself up completely to become a rainbow pillar of light that you are, you make the intent to naturally align with this rotation movement of the spinning light, of the liquid light of source. And as you do so, as you do these rotation movements with your torso, just your upper torso, it naturally begins to do so. Just as you start following this natural rhythm, you're just plugging yourself into what already is. You're just stepping into it. You're just creating a sacred space by allowing yourself to be part of this infinite receptivity and infinite divine potential of creativity through love. Your hands are still up. Don't worry about them feeling heavy. Let the light lift you up. Breathe deeply, the deepest you will breathe, the lighter you will feel. Your torso rotates as you align with these beautiful particles of rainbow light. Now as you do so, you no longer perceive yourself as a dense being that has this body, but you literally visualize yourselves also carry this rainbow energetic imprint each cell of your being will be filled with source original design original matrix of infinite creativity you start feeling this imagine each cell being like a droplet of light a droplet of water maybe that is being exposed to light and it starts to reflect a rainbow light. Now imagine each cell of your body becoming this, becoming liquid, 
becoming liquid light, shining as the rainbow self. As you rotate and as you spin, go deeper and allow your breath to really align you with this experience so that it is felt and integrated. You're not thinking about it. You're fully becoming it. Deep breathing. Now imagine that you become nothing less and nothing else but this rotating force of love, of pure divine potential, of infinite creativity, dropping into your physical form, illuminating every cell in your body as it will become a deeply felt internal integrated experience. Now extend your hands a bit further out and just stop for a moment with your rotation and as you feel you've come in this vacuum space, the zero point of your energy vortex field. In the zero point, give one sacred breath, give yourself the sacred breath of life in. You breathe out into all of your body. Just imagine it. Now you start to see how this rainbow droplets, how the sparkles of light start to come into you through your fingertips, through the pores of your skin. You might start feeling sensation in your palms, which is perfect. Feel the tingling sensations, the gentle caressing feeling of this creative force of life. See how this is deeply entering your body how your palms, as direct extensions of your heart, are ready to receive. The whole body is ready to receive. As you feel that you have culminated in this experience, now see this rainbow light that entered your body begin to now move deep within you and starting to create like a vortex of swirling energy again, like a tornado. A tornado force of pure liquid light. And as this rainbow light enters you, it again gathers together. All these beautiful particles gather together again. As you come into your wholeness, you start to rotate again. And you feel that as they come together, as they start assimilating, a beautiful white column of light is being formed. So you allow these particles to naturally come into their wholeness. So you have the infinite divine creativity potential through love and form and expression. And as you allow it to assimilate through divine will, just naturally, completely organic process, it becomes a beautiful white column of light. You invite your rainbow cosmic pillar to enter. And the shaft of light now penetrates through you in all directions, on all levels of your being, in all of its wholeness. And as you know that this is so, start to spin in your body and imagine that you're now grounding this beautiful white column of light in the physical through the activation of soul bliss. Start now to rotate not just with your torso but your lower part, with your hips, with your belly, but all the three basic lower chakras so that they embody this in your physical design of perfection. You make deep rotating movements. And deep breath still, always deep breathing. Start to rotate. You imagine how this white shaft of light drills deeper and deeper into the Mother Earth through you. As you sit on this beautiful planet, 
you're still fully receiving, you have assimilated, you created this wide shaft of light and now you're deeply grounding it and making it a direct physical experience. And you see that now the deeper you go, the bigger the bliss, the bigger your radiance, you just rotate. And breathe deeply, you no longer think about anything. You just become this beautiful energy that swirls and swirls and circles and circles and pulsates. You become more alive with each movement. Each movement makes you more divine in your human form. You already are divine, but you're now actually beginning to feel it. You're not meant to wait until you get to a certain point to feel heaven. You become heaven. You become your imprinted home frequency right here now in the body. You become a rainbow pillar of light, white light. Now the movements go deeper and deeper as all of your body begins to participate in the celebration of life in deep union with the divine. You feel immense joy washing over you you feel like you have nothing else left but to smile and deep gratitude and deep receptivity. And that you have always infinite potential through joy. It does not have to be a full understanding right now because this swirling vortex just engulfs you and you just feel it. You're no longer thinking, you're completely present with your movement. Each move more deeper, each move more divine, more grounded, more felt, more experienced, so more integrated. And as you feel again that you have culminated in this experience, start going slower, slow the rhythm down, Allow your body to adjust. Allow each cell of this liquid light now to have its own time to catch up with your awareness. Just let it flow. No thinking, no analyzing. Slow down, still deep breathing. And as you feel like you have culminated in your joy, in the bliss of your soul, through your column of white light. Gently bring your palms together in front of you in the sacred pose of gratitude. Feel the joy, the rejoicing, the true celebration of all life and creation. And allow yourself to be naturally guided through life as your external begins to match your internal. You know that you're always meant to create beautiful things of divine grace. So I hope this activation helped you a bit in your journey. I'll talk to you next time. Have a beautiful magical experience and I hope you had a beautiful 1212 gateway of light. As always, this energy is always now. So see you next time. So much love, wisdom and power.